Let me uh, apologize ahead of time since my talk will be relatively abstract. We have such a wealth of uh, expertise, both uh, local, uh, domestic, as well as international, present here uh, that can guide us through various details of internal or external environment surrounding <coughs> each other. This relatively abstract uh, introduction of a conceptual lens through which I would suggest us to look at Georgia's situation and development also coincides and I think fulfills the mandate of the president of Georgia who is non-partisan, he does not belong to any political party and the president's core of the presidential mandate is to uh, guarantee the orderly function of the state institution and the fulfillment of the institutional principles. The title of my talk today is Georgia at the Edge of Chaos. I'm drawing on this idea, the edge of chaos, which is highly popular, which first was invented in mathematics, and then is popular in natural sciences, in physics, as well as in business studies. I think it's pertinent, and I'm sure some of the talks which have been already expressed here and will be, uh, will be expressed here later on, do provide case studies and examples as to how Georgia tries to navigate the space between order and chaos, how Georgia tries to balance the situation and survive at the edge of chaos. Needless to say that, it, that the environment surrounding Georgia and its geopolitical situation does resemble chaos. And I'm putting this map here so that we remind ourselves the location of Georgia, which historically has been located at the edge of very important and influential empires. Terrorist acts in, in many capitals of Europe, Brexit, and the potential inward lookingness of the uh, European Union. Syria, the conflict in Syria, which is very close to Georgia and the influx of refugees in <coughs> neighboring countries. ISIS and uh, the radicalization of Muslims. Let me remind you that Georgia has a sizable population of Muslims, both Shia and Sunni. It's a crisis of overall, crisis of secularism in the world. Russia, which is hyperactive recently and uh, to occupied territories which are uh, on the territory of Georgia, as well as creeping occupation and revival of and the potential of revival of hostilities. Who attempt in Turkey, recent conflict between Russia and Turkey, as well as recent rapprochement between these two powers. Uh, revival of hostilities in Karabakh. Overall, the list could be very long, and I would characterize Georgia's the situation in surrounding Georgia as nobody's talking to, to anybody else and home, or home alone. Georgia, in a way, is home alone in the region. But so the question in Georgian public sphere it often is, can we as Georgians survive in this chaotic environment? Can we cope with this potential or ongoing conflicts and can we cope with these challenges that are presented by this environment? And I think here, the term and the concept of edge of, edge of chaos is very helpful. So what is edge of chaos? Edge of chaos is a space between order and chaos. It's precisely in the space that creativity is possible. The challenge is to be as close to chaos, to observe development in the chaos, but at the same time, not to be drawn in chaos. This is the physicist John Burks. Mitchell Waldrop, in his book Complexity, and I have to remind you that this, uh, the concept of edge of chaos comes from complexity theory, says that the balance point, often called the edge of chaos, is where the components of a system never lock into place, that's order, and yet never quite dissolve into turbulence either, mm -hmm. that's chaos. <coughs> The edge of chaos is where life has enough stability to sustain itself and enough creativity to deserve the name of life. The edge of chaos is where new ideas and innovative genotypes are forever nibbling away at the edge of the status quo on the one hand, and where even the most entrenched old gulf will be eventually overthrown. The edge is the constantly shifting zone between stagnation on the one hand and anarchy on the other hand. The place where a complex system can be spontaneous, adaptive, and alive. The edge of the house is particularly characterized with two characters.